What's up? It's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast. And during a recent interview on Drink Champs with Nori and DJ EFN, Snoop Dogg revealed that Nas was originally supposed to be on Tupac's All Eyes on Me. I'm telling you the truth. Nas Tell came over to Jazz House and, and put and got on the song first. Then Red Man and Method Man got on that song. Then Tupac got out the pen and Daz gave it to Tupac and took Cuz verse off and left Method Man and Red Man on it. <laughs> yeah, you heard it first. <laughs> And if you get at Daz, he may have the files. Well, now Daz Dillinger has come forth and set the record straight on Snoop Dogg's claim. Daz uploaded a video to his YouTube channel on Monday, April 18th, clarifying the entire story. It's a lot of niggas out there be giving wrong information. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at the Drink Champs the other day. Snoop was explaining about that Nas verse. Uh, whole situation wrong. He was never, ever, 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 ever on Got My Mind Made Up. The original person... That was on my made up was me, corrupt, Method Man, Red Man, Inspector Deck, and the Lady of Rage. Daz then went on to play the song he believes Snoop Dogg meant to refer to, which was the Dog Pound's Don't Stop, Keep Going. And that song had two verses on it from Nas. The track wound up on the duo's 2004 compilation album, The Last of the Pound, which was made up of the last music Daz and Corrupt had recorded for Death Row. Another version of the track featuring Tupac instead of Nas with the abbreviated Don't Stop appeared on the Dog Pound's 2001 release, The Dog Pound 2002. Nas was on his first, I took it to Death Row, and Tupac heard it without me being there and put himself on there. And I said, F that, let me put this out. Now, as Daz turned his attention back to Snoop Dogg, he issued a strongly worded reminder about his role in the making of Tupac's All Eyes on Me and other Death Row classics. Get your information straight, dog. I'm the nigga that created all that shit. Anything they got to do with all that shit, I'm the producer. I'm the brains behind this shit. You already know, you know what I'm saying? So anybody that come with them third party stories, I know what the fuck they talking about i'm the creator i know every story there is other just hear about the stories but they was never there because everybody that was on death row left and i stayed gathered all the information up and took all my shit. so after hearing daz dillinger's account of events do you think he's correct here do you believe snoop dogg embellished the story on purpose or do you think he just misremembered what happened let us know in the comment section below also be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell subscribe to the dx daily podcast and keep it locked in to hip-hop dx